so cars. We still got this one as a as a car yeah. for just a weekend driving. Uh, and this is your car, obviously. Yeah, and this is our old fire station. Yeah. It's so we've had a good tour around the fire station, as you can see. Uh, well, I mean, one, one of the highlights is obviously seeing a, a painting up there with Eby actually up on the wall there. So I mean, that does put a lump in, you know, in, in the old throat there. But I mean, yeah. Well, good morning and thanks for joining us again. A big day today, a really big day. Uh, not only for myself and Helen, but it's a big day for EB as well. We're in southern Germany and we're actually making our way up to a small town called Wattestatten. Now, anyone what follows us and knows the history of EB, you'll know that she was a fire rescue vehicle. So today, we're gonna to return back to the fire station where Eby spent 26 years of a working career and hopefully we're going to be meeting a few of the firemen and fire ladies that work with Eby. So stick with us today and I don't know what to expect but it's exciting so yeah stick with us. This were one of the first photos that we actually found of Eby and we've just managed to recreate the photo and as you can see we've got the, uh, the guest house uh, behind. So got the photo so we've just been lining up some of the photos to the, to the hotel. As you can see across the road as well is the Maypole. Now, I believe this gets replaced with a pine tree every five years. And uh, the big celebration, uh, they the strip the pine tree down and uh, place it in there, but obviously it's part of the festivities of May Day uh, celebrations. So this appears in a lot of the original photos what we found of eBay. We are going to spend the day here, probably go out for a meal or something, may even go into the, uh, the altar hof there and have a meal and then we're going to meet the fire service around about 5 5 30 pm today so uh, we've got all day to spend around here and explore shame that the the weather's a little bit drizzly today but uh, i don't think it's going to dampen our spirits so we've come into the altar off for a meal and we're not quite sure what we've ordered the the meals are definitely more traditional here so uh Helen's gone from the for the fried meatloaf with I think. Yeah, we think with cabbage or No cucumber. Oh cucumber, cucumber. Um I'm not quite sure what I'm I'm a little bit more daring than Helen, so I just point and pick. Uh, yeah, but we just we just waiting now for those meals coming. And then we're having the caram caramelised asparagus oh, right, with strawberries okay. and ice cream. Yeah, then Helen's picked a sweet for us, so... <laughs> yeah. This is where we have the, the tactic of we order something completely different from each other and then if we don't like it, we can swap over. Quite sure you guys do the same thing, but... Uh, this looks nice. Give it a go. Mm -hmm. Is it? Mm. Good try. It. I thought these looked like potatoes. Mm, no. These look like potatoes, but they are actually dumplings. 
Alles gut? Ja, fantastisch. Ja, fantastisch. Wie geht's euch? Du bist der Owner des großen Autos, oder? Ja, sehr gut. Ja, sehr gut. Hallo. Das ist Ibi's Replacement. As you can see, you've got the crest on the side there. The same lettering on the, on the, on the door there as well. So this is the same vehicle as what Ibi was. So it was the uh, specialist vehicle carrying all the equipment. Yeah, what a great moment. No. Of the fire. It's just for the technical equipment yeah. um, or dangerous tools. Um, mm. We've got <laughs> so much material on it. Yeah. This is a pumps for if, the, the, if there's a, a flood or something. Um, this is a generator. Mm -hmm. It's um, a big generator yeah, as well. Like it's powered by the engine of the car. Right, okay. Yeah. And um, the output power, I just don't know right. I think it's 64 kilowatts. Yeah, it's gonna be up yeah. there, yeah. Um, yeah. This is the equipment for the uh, um, car accident, typical car accident. Yeah. And there are also places in the back, so the car is fully loaded off the equipment. It's there are heavy lifters for trains up to 64 tons. Yeah, it's just everything special. It is, very. Yeah. How much would a vehicle like this cost as this? Um, it's about 650,000 euros. Yeah, 650,000 euros. It's also for lifting airbags. We've got also medical equipment on it. Um, or here you can have um, <laughs> driving for the train. Mm -hmm. It's a lifter for the railroad. Right. Yeah. What do you think, guys? Do we get any comments? Yeah, it goes on and on. Some wood for some construction. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot of construction equipment if you have to yeah. put yeah. support somewhere. Improvise, yes. Mm. It was a bit like that. Yeah. Do the long ones. Yeah. In. And it's a pump for for dangerous chemicals. So um, everything special. <laughs> this is what we need, some, something like this. We've got also an external power, but so like so yep. we don't only yes, just yep. the, uh, the car. Yeah, so you can take this out. Mm. Yeah. May I have a look? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <sighs> we need these. <laughs> 
and I just pointed out that it's we more comfortable than yours, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> I think we need some of these suspension seats in here. Mm. Yeah. But it's all, it's all, it's, uh, it's uh, much heavier. It's got uh, 16 tons. Right, 16 tons. Right. So the guys are jumping in hours and <laughs> obviously comparing notes. But uh, yeah, so here we have this is the replacement for EB. <laughs> Pretty amazing, eh? So, uh, any comments, guys, put them down below. <laughs> I think it's turning into a little bit of reunion with uh, with four by fours and fire engines. So as you can see there's quite a lot of kick on these new fire engines. Sort of like makes Eby looks a little bit dull. But I mean she's retired now. And uh, yeah, she's got the easy life. <laughs> so we've just been invited into the fire station as you can see all shiny new vehicles I have asked these guys who was on wash duty today to actually give EB a wash but uh, so far no one's volunteering <laughs> this is our, our car for our, for our leaderboard mm -hmm. um, it's just for, for leading the group of the fire trucks right, okay. to, the, to the emergency side or we drive um, also alarms with medical problems, so heart attacks and um, uh, heart distance. So we are much faster with the small car yes, than with yeah. big cars. So we've got a lot of uh, medical equipment in the back and some tactical equipment. And yeah, it's, it's, our, it's called Cardio V, Commando Wagon in German. Commando Wagon. Yeah. yeah. In the background, we've got our ladder. This was the first letter of Vaterstetten. Mm -hmm. We um, did get it in 2018. Mm, very nice. We can put it up to a height of 30 meters. 30 meters. Yeah. So it's, um, the norm is 23 meters in the height and 12 meters out. So we reach yeah. pretty much every, every building in the, in the town. Yeah. So this is... Yeah, our ours was... District of Ebersberg, and it was ah. the car is from the from yeah. the big from the big um, uh, from the it's like Lang the district. Yeah. district yeah the district yeah. it's from the district the, the district is um, responsible for the RV yeah and the commune is um, for these cars it's, it's right. the, the town the city it's for the, it's, um, for this truck you also have to get a special um, training mm -hmm. of forty hours to um, to operate a ladder. So yeah. you can not just go, yeah, I've got a driver's license for the truck, so you no. have to go get a special license for the, for the ladder. And what's, is this to keep the, the engine warm? No, it's um, our exhaust system. Oh, right, so yes. You, you stop yes. the car in here, 
um, we've got an, an, um, an alarm and it turns on and pulls the exhaust gases away so we can just drive out and if the car is at the, uh, yeah. the edge mm -hmm. it just disconnects and rush, uh, rushes back right so, so yeah you can drive out with it yeah. that makes sense so these are both cars for um, firefighting this is our newest car, it's from last year, it's from 2021. Um, it's all, all, mostly only used for, for fires. We've got some also some other equipment on it like a chainsaw or some equipment to open doors um, yeah, for, for some flood situations. Mm -hmm. At the top we've got ladders. Um, yeah. It's very uh, high tech I think. In, Comparison to this car, it's a bit older. The best feature about this car is that the, the cabin crew is at the size of the of the back of the truck. Yeah, that's this different. This is a, a much older car, it's from 2009. Yeah, and that's and, the crew cab, yeah. Yeah, and here you've got much less space in comparison to this car. So if you've got a fire and you have to, four, four firefighters have to put on the equipment, it's so narrow, uh, you always kick the other in the face with the arms and, <laughs> and this, we've got much more space and the, the um, breathing air equipment is um, divided into two sides yeah, and also the lightning and everything is it's much more yeah, up to date. You, you, you can see yeah. that. Can I this just, car, yeah for sure yeah, you can go in. Just tell you quick. Yeah. And this car is also very good to come to get in and get out yeah. because it's these huge steps. Um, much more lightning. Uh, on these cars, um, we've got the rule only to go out in the backwards, so you have to go out like that. Yeah. And in this car, it's also allowed to go out forwards, which is much more easier yeah. if you got the, the mask on your face and not mm. really good visuals. Yeah. Yeah. This is also a car for, uh, for typical firefighting, but it's got much more technical equipment, so we can also do um, some medical things. We've got also the generator, some pumps for a flood. On the other side, we've got also the technical equipment for the uh, car accident, which you right. saw on the yes, RV. Yeah. Yes. So this is a much more capable car for more situations. Yeah. It's from 2009, it's a bit older. They're fabulous, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. And this is our uh, logistic AKV uh, for some logistics. We've got some different equipment in the back because we can change the modules. Mm. All right. So this is pretty much the car for every situation. If you've got uh, some uh, fire extinguisher for 250 kilo of pulver powder. And um, some more equipment for uh, different uses which are always on the car. And if you, need to, if you need something other, we can just put it off, go to our um, underfloor yeah. Yeah. and then put other things in yeah, yeah. so it's more really practical. Yeah. And this car also tows the, the uh, trailer for, okay. the, for the motorway, um, if you've got an accident on the motorway or something. Cool. So on this side we've got the, the place to clean our cars. It's just been rebuilt, so we can't use it at the moment. But it's where we can we can keep them clean. The trunk uh, and yes. the, the people who go to the fire first. This is the Schlauchtrupp. They provide the um, um, the for the traffic, the the blocking. Traffic, yeah. Okay. And water drop, which provides the water. Um, this is the. Uh, driver of the car, this is the chief of the car and yeah. Right. Right, okay. So the people who are taking the, so this is a, a, a license abzeichen where we, uh, every two years we do this um, and then we get a, an extra sticker for our uniform. Right. And uh, yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, so you do it for two years and then... Yeah, and then again and again. So yeah. we've got six steps and then if... Then we've got some, some more communication Ooh. systems. So we've got a central point um, where all the alarms come in and they distribute it to the, to the fire yeah. stations. But if there's a, a major weather where a lot of trees fall down and so, yeah. 
there are the it's, it's not time critical they just give it to us we've got the people here and then we coordinate ourselves yeah, which yeah, car you, you goes where yeah. 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 This is our cars. We still got this one as a as a car yeah. for just a weekend driving. So we've had a good tour around the fire station. As you can see, uh, well, one one of the highlights is obviously seeing a, a painting up there with Evie actually up on the wall there. So I mean, that does put a lump in you know in, in the old throat there. But I mean, yeah. There's much more equipment. Yeah. And in here, I don't know, uh, it's a generator mm -hmm. which can provide the house for yeah. 72 hours. Uh, yes. If, uh, so if the power goes out, you, you've still got power yeah. there. I think there's your car. Alright, yes. Technic storage. So the car which you saw uh, with the with the platform, yeah, with the platform, we can change you, you all can these change. equipment. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got everything uh, down there what you need. <laughs> we've got the new helmets. Um, they are not as the old one, like this. So you can protect your ears better because they are fitting to the mm -hmm. neck. Uh, yeah, they are pretty comfortable to wear with these straps mm. and. And then I see the, the lights on them as well. As yeah, well there. this is um, equipment for for um, for the crew which goes to fires in, in the buildings yeah. to have a good view. It is, yeah. Yeah, both myself and Ellen have just commented on how well the fire station is. Uh, it's so well equipped and it's pristine. I will say pristine. Very nice. We've had a fantastic evening here and the, the guys here have been absolutely fantastic. We've seen all around the fire station and they've been so welcoming to us as well. So uh, I'd just personally like to say thank you very much guys for showing us around your fire station. But just before you go, They've got one more trick up the sleeve for us. meters to go Is it okay? Yeah. <laughs> this beats flying the drone The, the typical use case to go no. just up because we always have to go somewhere. somewhere yeah, we've always got to go somewhere. Yeah, but it's like yeah. the, the best view from up here. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of the fire station. I'd like to thank Philip here for taking us around and making us feel so welcome. And well, from Vaterstatten in Germany, I'd like to say thanks for watching, everybody.